understanding, and eye for an eye, exploring the phrase in English. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to delve into the fascinating world of English idioms and phrases. We're focusing on a particularly interesting one, an eye for an eye. This phrase has a rich history and a deep meaning that resonates in many aspects of life. So, let's explore what it means, where it comes from, and how it's used in modern English. The phrase, an eye for an eye, originates from ancient legal codes, most notably found in the Code of Hammurabi and the Old Testament. Initially, it was a legal principle that meant if someone inflicted harm, they should receive equivalent harm in return. This concept was meant to ensure that the punishment was proportional to the crime. It's fascinating to see how a legal principle from thousands of years ago still influences our language today. In contemporary English, an eye for an eye is often used metaphorically. It means that one should get revenge or retribution that's equal to the harm they've suffered. However, it's important to note that this phrase can carry a negative connotation, implying a cycle of revenge rather than forgiveness or understanding. When you hear someone say, an eye for an eye, they're usually talking about getting even or ensuring justice is served, though it may not always be in a literal sense. Let's look at some examples to understand how an eye for an eye is used in different contexts. 1. In a legal setting, the judge's decision seemed to follow the principle of an eye for an eye, as the punishment exactly matched the crime. 2. In everyday conversation, he insulted me, so I insulted him back. It was an eye for an eye. 3. In literature and media, this phrase is often used in stories and movies to illustrate characters seeking revenge. Understanding these examples can help you grasp the nuances of the phrase and how it's applied in various scenarios. Interestingly, an eye for an eye has equivalence in many languages and cultures, showing its universal appeal. However, the interpretation and acceptance of this principle can vary greatly. In some cultures, it's seen as a just principle, while in others, it's viewed as outdated or overly harsh. This diversity in interpretation highlights the complexity and richness of human moral and legal philosophy. We hope this exploration of an eye for an eye has been enlightening and helpful in your journey to master the English language. Remember, phrases like these are not just words but carry centuries of history and cultural significance. Stay curious, keep learning, and don't forget to subscribe for more insights into the fascinating world of English idioms. Until next time, happy learning!